down the coin of the ring call one more time. Let's, Let's break, break it, it down. down. All right. I forgot to use the hotel Wi-Fi. My fault. Yeah, what's up with you, bro? You and you and you in Miami smoking a cigar, thinking you all that and shit. You can't I'm even get on the right internet. No, I got, I got it. I'm working on two phones. That's why. This is my other phone. Okay, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. You think you all that? I, I hope you choke on that shit. Now, shout <laughs> Pause. Hey, yo. Pause. Pause. Man, get out of here, nigga. Pause. You too. You too old for that, bro. Pause. I know. I know. Pause. I know. Talk to me. Now, nah, but um, all right. So look, we already e talked e about Hart, E Hart versus First Lady Flames is gonna be crazy because that battle is for the streets. You understand what I'm saying? There ain't no other battle. I don't give a fuck how many years we've been doing this. That was for the streets, like how this battle is gonna be. I'm telling you when I'm telling you. I'm not hyping it up because this is my shit. I'm telling you from the streets. From I'm in the barbershops. I'm in the streets of the Bronx, but niggas is pulling me over. Yo, that E Hart and Flames though. I'm like, yeah, that's that one right there because they're gonna be yo. Listen. If you don't think there's women out there that, that be in these streets or know that street cold and shit, like, I'm you sadly mistaken. Mm. They going to put this one on their back, man. They're going to carry this one. I'm telling you, this is for the street. When you see the commentating, I don't know who's going to do the commentating for that week. I think it's going to either be Noodle Now, Surf, J Black, the same people. But Surf is going to say, yo, man, this one right here, I, this, is, this is the one I wanted to see. This is for the streets right here. We keep saying that because it's real, Pat. This yo, is going to be a street documented battle. If First Lady Flames wins, what does that say? If First Lady Flames wins, wow, that's a good question, man. If First Lady Flames clearly beats E. Hart, oh, that's what I was gonna say too. It's how she wins too. If it's a debatable two-one, but if it's like a three-zero, she beat the legend. She beat the goat. She beat the the one that damn near the, I call her the Big Bang. I know there's battle rap before Queen of the Ring, but not it, it was little organisms and shit like that floating around and stuff. But it wasn't the Big Bang. E Hart was the Big Bang. I ain't roast a bitch in a minute. Bow. Female battle rap has arrived. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? She, she 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 yo she gets to wear those accolades on the back, man. She gets to say yo I beat Auntie. That's what she calls E Hart, Auntie. She calls her that respectfully right. because she knows e, e Hart been around for the longest time. You know what I'm saying? And certain girls, listen, I'm going to say this. In women's battle rap, there are certain girls that you would want to battle to put on your bucket list to be like, yo, I battle her. I can give this shit up right now. Mm. Let me feel. There's E Hart, 40, Jazz, uh, uh, official probably. Um, there, there's like, yo, very few. And then respectfully, not to say, you know what I'm saying, everybody else I haven't mentioned is not the bomb. Of course they are. But we all know we ain't going to be sitting here acting like people don't be like, yo, if, I want to, if I'm a female battle rapper, I want to battle e Hart. Like, that ain't going to be on the list. I have not seen one woman say they don't want to battle e Hart. Now, I'm going on e Hart. I don't want to battle Are you crazy? I have the tour ready to battle e Hart. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. They want to battle it. Come on. Yo, what's up with Couture? She's chilling, man. I was just with her. She battled um, a dude named Vic Wallace in her state. If y'all ever confused about that, the two is from Rhode Island. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I think it's called Takeover Battle League. Uh, that's in Rhode Island and shit. So she wanted to give love to her hometown. What well, she did, she did a one rounder with a guy named Vic Wallace who's actually dope. Salute to them. Salute to the uh, league and shit like that. And now with Couture, she's ready to come back. Uh, I try to get her for heir to the throne, but, you know, Couture, you know, she's handling her family business. She got kids. She got a husband. She got a home. You know, it's a, you know all that. I'm not going to tell her business, but, you know, it is what it is. September, she's coming back. Yeah, Couture's coming back in September and shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to tell y'all with who, but she's coming back. But she's coming back for sure in September. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Shout out to Couture. I like Couture. Shout out to Couture. She calls to Couture. Couture's coming back in September, boy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be lit. Yo, her angles be different uh -huh. since day one. Since day one. Uh-huh. Remember when she, who was that she battled? Um, Damn, I keep forgetting her name. You know who I'm talking about. Who she had, had, had a, like a nervous breakdown and all that Ms. shit. Miss Pat. Pat. I, don't, I don't think I'm ever going to forget that battle, bro. I'm never, ever going to forget that battle, yo. Remember, that battle made World Star, man. It did a million on World Star. Yeah. yeah. I, I, felt, I felt bad for Miss Pat and her nigga. I felt bad for both of them. <laughs> I ain't never seen nothing like that, V.
Mr. and Miss Pat. That's what they did their names. Right? Yeah, she got crazy. Yo, hold up, Debo. You know what? And I don't want to interject one more name. What is going on with Jada Ray? Smoke the Jada Ray the day of our Pentacle 5 event, and she's ready to come back. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And, we ready, and we ready to book her. You know? Okay. Um, I wish I could get... Fuck it, man. I'm going to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to get Jada Ray versus Chrissy Yamaguchi. That would be crazy. Ooh, Jada Ray and Chrissy Yamaguchi? That would be crazy. Because Chrissy Yamaguchi, she's on her, she's on roll. She's out here getting crazy, doing her number one, one, two. And Jada Ray ran down on her and said, yo, what's up? Chrissy's like, yo, what's up? And, yo, man, I looked at, they looked at me. I'm like, uh, I, we can make it happen. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, Jada Ray's nice. Jada Ray's nice. Make it happen, bro. Jada, Jada Ray's nice. nice. Jada Ray, um, Jada Ray is one of those ones, man. It's just all about giving her that, uh, that, uh, that name that she can get crazy with. I would like to see Jada Ray in a caffeine setting as well, too, and shit like that. But, you know, every, every little step and shit like that. But, yeah, nah, she's coming, she's coming through. She's coming back. Shout out to Jada Ray. Okay, okay. So we got official and Gaddis. We got official and Gaddis. Let me official ask you a question. Gaddis. Yes, sir. Let me ask you a question, right? Gaddis status. At one point, right, everyone looked at Gaddis like she was the GOAT because of, cause of her longevity and what she's done for female battle rap also. She was in four from the ring. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like her status is high than official? Damn. Official's put that work in. Official has That's put that question. work in. That's a good question. That's a good question. Let me tell you this. Gaddis was the one. Gaddis is like, like uh, excuse my words correctly. Gaddis was the astronaut that went onto the moon and put the flag down for female battle rap. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? And after that, she's in the history books. But she, she stopped being on NASA and stopped taking these trips to different planets and stuff like that and fell back. And then Queen of the Ring, the Big Bang exploded and then everybody started getting crazy. And then, you know, we did what we did. I brought Gaddis back to uh, Queen, to, uh, Queen of the Ring to make her return. And then she made her return. She, she went to URL as well. Um, I don't think I've seen the one hundred percent potential of Gaddis that you should have seen that you're gonna probably see this week. Okay, because she's very enthusiastic about who she's battling and where she's battling at. And um, as far as the accolades between Gaddis and Official, I'm not gonna say they even because that would be disrespectful to both parties because. Both could make a case on who did what. Official been out here putting her flag down crazy for female battle rap. Did tremendous things to take the women's battle rap to different heights. You know what I'm saying? But it like if it wasn't for Gaddis doing what she did, you know, uh, you know, you gotta ask yourself who knows what, it would really what be. It, who knows what it would be? What? You know what I'm saying? Would I be inspired to want to do anything? You know, uh, you gotta you gotta say these things. That's why I revere Gaddis so in a high uh, 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 upper echelon because she had the cool table, you motherfucking right, Gaddis at the cool table. You cannot say shit. She was probably the first motherfucker at the cool table waiting for motherfuckers to talk and have a conversation with. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just all about her putting her, her stamp down back in women's battle rap for y'all to understand who she is. Because I tell Gaddis all the time, I say, yo, you did what you did, which was great. But a lot of URL to Queen of the Ring fans probably don't know your history as much as they should had you been continuously battling back to back to back and staying in the game because she took a couple of breaks here and there. But now she gets to show and prove who the fuck she is and let people know this Saturday that, yo, I'm Gaddis. Get your bars up, bitch. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's so, what it so, is. So, Devo, who's the underdog? Is Gaddis? No, it's called, you know what, I'll tell you this. It's called Air to the Throne. It's a theme for a reason. It's the girls that's on the come up that's ready to take the throne for the ones who already have the throne. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So, I say, I say that to say, um, Official gonna kill me if I say this shit, man. I don't know, man. Gaddis might be on that throne, man. You know what I'm Word. Like, Gaddis might be official guy to take it for. You know? But you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. This is why I would put Official in the underdog position. Because when Official is hungry and she's an underdog and she feel like niggas is doubting her, she comes crazy. Okay. She be like, yo, what? Yo, what? Devo, you said what? All right. I'm gonna prove to you, nigga. You better watch your mouth. 
and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'd rather see a hungry official than a, a content official any day. You feel okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And, and, and she does have something to prove after the Cortez situation because Cortez got was wilding, boy. Yeah, I, I didn't that. see that coming. I'm going to be real with you. I definitely didn't see that coming. I definitely didn't see that coming. That was crazy. I ain't going to sit here and hold you. That was crazy. But... You know what the Cortez situation, then the Arsenal battle, she do got some things to prove. You heard me? Right, yeah, I hear you. I'm sorry, that. So she she does have some things to prove. I'm I'm anxious for that battle right there. Um, I'm watching 40 bars and KCJ go back and forth. Like, what are we doing, bro? What are we doing, bro? We seen Smack label KCJ is the face for future female battle rap. You know what I mean? Um, 40 Bars did, Forty bars just retired, sir. She just sat him down, made him an analyst. Let's not forget about that. Not everyone can just do that. You know what I'm saying? Right. What are we doing with these two here? What are we really doing with these two? The queen versus the face. What are we doing? <laughs> um. Well, I ain't going to say it holds you, man. It's it, it, it's Casey, man. You 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 got you got one. You you got the you got the look you've been looking for. Mm -hmm. You know she um, has to show up. She has to show up. She has to show up. She has to show up. You know but so does forty. But so does forty. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Let me tell you something. I fuck with both of them heavy. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, I seen Casey grow grow, um, grow and I see 40 grow. They both grew, grew like queen in the ring. You know what I'm saying? They both had their different paths and shit like that. And 40 has been considered the queen, the everything, and female battle rap, all that shit early. You know what I'm saying? Making her stride and, and being who she is. Shout out to Team 40 and all that. You know, uh, Casey had her hairs and ears. You know what I'm saying? She had her, her peaks and valleys and shit like that. But this battle right here, especially if it's a good battle, could, 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 could get her to where she's looking to be, if you will. Uh, Casey said, yo, 40 used to be that bitch, but she's not no more. Excuse me for the word, bitch. Um, and she's insinuating that I'm that nigga now. You know what I'm saying? And this is how it's going to be. You feel me? And yo, man, she can make a case of that. If she gets crazy on 40 come June 26th, she could be like, yo, I beat 40 bars, 3021, whatever you want to call it. I'm that bitch now. I'm excuse my, my language. Um is a move up for Casey. Let's be let's be keep it 100 percent It's a move up for Casey. Also, if Casey beats 40, then quote unquote all the Bardashians is gonna be running around talking about yo, I beat 40, I battle 40, I such and such, whatever. If you will. I'm going by consensus, not by what I personally feel. You know what I'm saying? But now with 40, it's 40 case. You know, she's not she's not considered the underdog here. I've seen the consensus. Everybody's like 42-1, 43 year old, she remember her bars and all that stuff or whatever, whatever, and shit like that. No, you're not, but look, you can't say whatever, whatever, whatever. You can't say that. No, but I'm saying it like this though. You gotta listen. Yeah, let me let me listen. Let me say I feel you. Let me say this. Is it a tear mover for 40? Not necessarily. Um, is it a good battle for 40? Yes, it is. You know what I'm saying? Because Casey is coming with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Casey's gonna be hungry. If if if, if, if we get the, the Ms. Merck Casey, whoo! Mm -hmm. Gonna be crazy. I'm that's another battle I'm I'm sitting here for to just see who's gonna win that motherfucker. Cause it's gonna be very interesting. Because Casey might be the one to bring the thunder and the lightning out of 40 bars and wake her up to be like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's all about interest, it's all about who you're moving your pen for. Uh mm -hmm. so Casey probably got under uh 40 skin just enough for her to get her writing on and get crazy and wanna be prepared. Come Saturday and shit. So it's going to be a great battle if that's the case in, in, in point and, and whatnot. But, um, yeah, and I don't mean to say it's not a tear move if, 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 for uh, 40 or what you call it, uh, she beats Casey and shit like that. It's just that, you know, 40's done done so much in the game and whatnot. She's already been the person she is a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? So only thing at this point in time you're gonna say, no matter who she battles as far as 40 bars, no matter who she battles, is gonna be 
Well, yo, she had a good battle on, uh, she, you know what I'm saying? You'll get your shit together, you choked, or whatever, and shit like that. So that's just pretty much it and whatnot. They still revere her as at the cool table as one of them ones, as quote unquote, if you will, the queen mm-hmm. and shit. So that's it. We just gonna see how it works. We still, we gonna see how it moves and whatnot. People are interested if Foy's gonna come with that shit on 40 bars, and people are interested in Casey if Casey's gonna come with that shit to beat 40 bars. Okay. That's okay. what it is. But Casey's the underdog in this right now? Casey's the one that's that's wanting to snatch that throne. Okay. All heir right. To, heir to the throne. You know what I'm saying? You know, respectfully, uh, how I don't, you know, y'all can feel how you feel as far as the battle rapper and anybody else, but I named the heir to the throne for a reason. Somebody's on the crown, somebody's ready to snatch the crown. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's a, right. it's, a, it's a theme, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing disrespectful to be like, oh, you the, you the such and such, you the peasant, or you the, nah, that's not what it is. You know what I'm saying? Because being the underdog has its advantages. You feel what I'm saying? It, mm-hmm. bring, it, it, it brings hunger out in the person that feels like they're the underdog. It, from, from the, from the, from the fans' point of view, it makes it look as if, yo, I'm rooting for the underdog. You know what I'm saying? Fuck the person that's on top, I'm rooting for the underdog. So it has its advantages if you want to look at it from that, that, that point of view. Okay. Okay. Now we know that Coffee Brown and Hustle was, is postponed for right now. And then uh, we got Shuni and uh, who's Shuni battling the game? You bugging. Shuni versus Vixen the Assassin, my boy. You know what, bro? Man. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This ain't the known card. You're right. I'm not going to say that, but come on. Right. This is a good card. This is a great card. This is a good fucking card. Four bro. battles is a great card. Yo, Vixen and Shuni. You know the type of fucking energy is gonna be in that battle? Do you know the type of energy is gonna be in that battle, bro? It's gonna be a lot of biracial energy, my guy. A lot of biracial energy, man. Shuni don't play no games. I like Shuni. She don't play no fucking games. Right. Right. Nah, Shuni, 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 Shuni barking. She barking. You know what I'm saying? Vix is barking. It's two loud ladies that's loud and aggressive. You understand what I'm saying? Loud yeah. and aggressive, and you know what I'm saying? And it all comes down to the bars here. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't want to hear the tea slandering. And I don't want to hear the tea slandering. Nothing. I mean, we all like the tea, but I'm just saying. We want to hear the bars. You know what I'm saying? And Shuni in 2020 in, in, in the Source magazine was revered as the top lady that was making shit happen for women's battle rap. Mm. Only her. You know what I'm saying? So that's when she battled QB. Shout out to QB. Um, but, um, Vixen came into the caffeine ranks. You know what I'm saying? I brought her in. I took a chance on her, and she 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 delivered. And now she she she's the man, and she's telling Shuni, "Yo, you just got here." Like what? Shuni a party? How you? How dare you gonna tell Shuni that? Shuni been doing women's battle rap for like the past ten years, and you, you talk right. about you, you know that's listen. I love Vixen, man. I love when she talked that talk, man. So we gonna see what it really is. This is gonna be wild, Shuni and Vixen. And Shuni gets busy, man. Vixen gets busy. Remember, Vixen's last battle was Loso. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she got something to prove. She ain't trying to lose. She ain't trying to lose. Yeah, nothing that going on. Loso battle didn't go the way she thought it was going to go. Listen, let me tell you something. Shout out to Loso and shit. But Loso put his pen on that pad so crazy just to make sure he beats Vixen because he knew Vixen was coming with some shit. He knew Vixen was coming with some shit, you know what I'm saying? And then after that battle, they took all the snippets and all the good shit from, from Loso and promoted that boy like like he was the, the, the goat of caffeine. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it took a, a good battle rapper in Vixen to bring out the great battle rapper in, in Loso and shit. But with that said, Vixen know what time it is. And she ain't, she, I'm not saying that she took an L. That's not for me to even say here or there. But I'm going to tell you this. It wasn't the best showing that Vixen feels like it was with the Loso battle. So she's going to definitely try to take it out on Shuni. And Shuni ain't the one to try to take shit out on. She ain't having it. You know what I'm saying? Shuni will balk on you. She will, her presence, her aggression, her bars, everything, my nigga. Her battle rap IQ on Shuni is crazy. She's experienced. She's experienced. But then again, Vixen could also say she's experienced also. She's been around battle rap long enough just to know. So that's what makes it a great battle between both ladies. This is not a snoozer. This is not a cigarette break. This is not an old, oh, yo, let me go outside and get nah, nah, nah. some Dutchess. No. You don't have any of those. You don't have any of those in this car. 
You got to have all that shit before the event starts. Right. Right. Oh, I'm going to drop, drop the exclusive right here. Fuck it. Um, yes, we do got one more battle. What? We do got one more battle. Yes. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let, me, let me dress it up nice. Let me dress it up nice. Keep it 100. The battle I have is a battle that I had that I, that, that, that I want to do on caffeine because I feel like both of these ladies deserve this platform. And they tried and true the queen of the ring. And, and you know what I'm saying? They're two new stars that's coming up, and I think they fire. Okay. ABZ versus Breezy. ABZ yeah. versus Breezy. Yes. This is nice. ABZ versus Breezy is going to be the fifth battle that's going to be on Caffeine. Nice. You know and this is their first shot on Caffeine ever. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time everybody keeps talking about, yo, we want to see the same girls. We want to say, okay, now we're going to show you new girls. Now we need 100% support behind these new girls so there can be more new girls. Because if they do good on Caffeine, they're going to open the door for everybody else to come the fuck in. You know what I'm saying? Now Caffeine will be like, oh, we said. We we we're open to new artists coming and doing the X Y Z and such and such. It's on them. This is how important this battle is, Cap. It's on them to make that battle fire for everybody else to come through the back door. So I don't have to fucking super convince everybody to bring in the first lady flames or, or Vixen or Yoshi and shit like that. It's pride. It's proven. You know what I'm saying? Two new girls out of nowhere that nobody knows about on Cap. They gonna look like who the fuck is this? The if they get crazy, crazy, oh, it's on and shaking. That's it. Hey, Debo, Debo, Debo. Prestavia, what's your thoughts on her, B? Prestavia's fire. Super fire. Super fire. Her and Tia got crazy, crazy. Her Super and Tia fire. Classic. You're going to see more of Prestavia. You're going to see Prestavia. You're going to see way more. She signed the Queen of the Ring. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm signing the ladies that are super fire and I can take to the next level. You know what I'm saying? You really don't have to go nowhere else. You don't. Because... You are, listen, ladies, respectfully, this is what I'm telling you right now. If I sign you, really don't, I'm not saying that you have, don't, that I'm not telling you to, you know what I'm saying? You, 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 with the girls I signed, they, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much, I'm letting them battle wherever, as long as the bag, the bag and the situation is good for them, so they can represent who they are and Queen of Rent. But over here, I already got URL calling me for Pastavia, like, yo, what's up, man? We need a uh, uh, shorty fire. So she can, she can write her own ticket right now off the fact that, you know what I'm saying, I signed it and she, she, she's with the team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's nothing. It's just a, it's just a, 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 a win, win and where. You know what I'm saying? It could be in September you'll see Pistavia on the caffeine stage. Nice. You know nice. What I'm saying? nice. Nice. I see Lady Cautious. Lady Cautious said, Debo, you all living life. You, why you ain't take me? I see Lady Cautious out here battling again. Lady Cautious out here doing her numbers, man. Shout out to Lady Caution. It's just not because of Queen of the Ring. It's because of her getting these battles and booking these battles on her own and doing her numbers and shit. It just so happens that me and Caution have a rapport with each other. I feel like she a dope MC and she just needs that, that look. And I gave her two. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give her another one damn near in September. So you're going to see Caution on there as well and shit like that, man. I reward good I reward good battlers with good battles and, 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 and people that just just loyal to the situation, man. I reward that. They, that's deserving. So it's all about winning. Winning where? You know what I'm saying? Just people just got to be patient. That's all it is. Yo, am I bugging? Not to, not to make it seem like female battle rap was dead. That's not what I'm saying. But it almost that's seemed like... Saying, nigga. Nah, nah, but hear me out. Before, at one point, at one point, but this is what I'm saying, that there was still battles happening. It right. almost seems like female battle rap caught its second wind. Right. Right. You know why? Because we didn't uh, we didn't gas ourselves out. You got to remember, there's very, 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 very few good women battle rappers out there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all, so a lot of the ones that's up and starting have to get the experience. And unfortunately, they have to get the experience on camera. You know what I'm saying? If you come to Queen of the Ring and you're just like an uh, upstarting battle rapper, you're going to have to get two, three, four battles of people to really notice that you're that good or you this and that or go to other platforms and, and get the experience off and shit like that. If you come to Queen of the Ring, there's a whole lot of pressure, a whole lot of people on your back, all that, for you to be automatically nice. You understand what I'm saying? So know what you're getting into when you come to Queen of the Ring, man. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's quarter second win. And I've always said, 
it's, it's, I wouldn't consider it a novelty, but it's a niche market with women's battle rap. There's not too many, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's damn near like a unicorn, you know what I'm saying? 40 bars gave me that word. You know, we remain like a unicorn that sticks out in a bunch of horses in a stable and shit like that. Like, oh shit, you don't see that unicorn over there with the horse? That's crazy. That's women's battle rap. And it's exciting because women talk more shit than a little bit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, you damn near. If you got a woman's battle, they talk so crazy, you damn near going, it, it look like they're about to really fight. Like, oh, shit. And that's what a lot of fans are excited about. The competition, the hunger, the, you know what I'm saying, the shit talking, all that, the face-off, all that. Women's face-offs are better than the male face-off. These niggas are trying to act too cool for school. These women be like, oh, yeah, well, fuck you. You lost three battles and your mother's this and this, that. And what you want to do? What you want to do then? You know, y'all like, oh, shit, let's go. You want to see the battle. So you're hoping the battle is just as fire as the face-off and shit. So that's what it is, man. Women's battle rap is it, it, up there, man. And we can see. That's why I wanted to do good business with URL because they're the, we're the number one league. Shit. If I can't get a caffeine, nigga, I know who got a, who got a fucking caffeine. That's something, nigga. I'm putting in a call. Yo, boom, boom, bam, bam, pow, slam. You know what I'm saying? And to get those girls to the bag, that's what we're here for. And to get us to the bag, because if you think we ain't getting paid, then you got another thing coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Say yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We all get into the bag and shit, man. And that's what it is. And don't be stupid. All the dumb, ignorant fans out there, well, not fans, or with the people that's just ignorant, talking to this um, old URL, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for smack and all that. No, listen, any good businessman with good business sense, if you know business from the quote unquote white man, or whatever, I don't even say from the white man, let's just make it here. Yeah. Anybody with a good business builds their equity up to sell the company mm -hmm. to another business. You're building this from the ground up, from the mud, all the way up, 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 up to sell your shit off to a company to make another company, to build another company. That's how businesses work. I'm not saying that we're doing that because, you know, we're, we're trying to choose what we do. I don't think anybody could do Queen of the Ring like how me, Babs, and Vague do it. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't understand the structure of women's battle rap. That's how we get off so so well because we've been doing it for so long, we know how to do it. So even if we fall off, we bounce back. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what it is, man. I say all that to say it makes perfect sense to partner up with URL. We don't work for, we work with URL. You know what I'm saying? So it makes a good sense to partner up with them and get all the resources and amenities that they have to apply it to Queen of the Ring. And then the girls win. You know what I'm saying? And, and they get a look. And they get a bag. And we our, we, our brand grows from there. Because we're still doing independent um uh, uh, shows. You see Evolution. You see um uh, 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 Panic Room 5. And we got another one called Royal Rumble coming up. So on and so forth. Called Royal Rumble? Nice. Royal Rumble. July 18th. You'll see a flyer today, as a matter of fact. Coming out, World Rumble. Um, I ain't gonna explain the two people that we got, but it's a team versus team situation. It's a five on five, two coaches. You know what I'm saying? That are top tiers, and they pick five. You know what I'm saying? People that really got a shot anywhere or shit like that to battle each other. It goes round for round, not battle for battle. The you know Dustin Cassidy shit. Nah, that's my. Shit. Not, not saying it's my shit. Like it's his shit. He got something going on. We got something different going on. And okay. to even prove that. The person that you'll see that's on there could bounce for that as well. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So it sounds similar, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Cassie's the, the bigger name, obviously, and shit like that. But just because you're the bigger name don't mean I, you know what I'm saying? No, it has a lot of light on that. But what we did is our own shit. You know what I'm saying? And we've been had that for a minute. We just haven't released it yet. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Debo, anything else you want to say, man? I like this. I like what y'all doing. I just want to commend you, man, for being the blog of the year. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 need, you need to get it. I don't know. Somebody needs to get through an award to all these interviews that you're getting crazy with, man. I had to come on here, Cap. I said, no, nah, I had to come on here. This nigga, get, he's on fire. You understand know what I'm saying? You, out here, go, dude. Dude, you been getting interviews from people I never thought in my life <laughs> I would see on here. And I said, oh, shit, this nigga got this damn interview. This is Bye. crazy. This is the nah, but see that that goes to show you. Just to end it off here, that goes to show you. Everybody talk that shit, you know what I'm saying? But niggas are still gonna want to have to be at the hottest spot to rock with the hottest people. You feel what I'm saying? So I don't give a fuck who's talking shit over here about you and this, that, and the third. Niggas eventually is gonna come around though, and look where we at.
That's a fact. That's nigga, a fact. I talk, I talk shit about you, nigga. I talk shit about you all the time. I talk shit about you to you, though. <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Debo. <laughs> Yo, you want, you, want, you, want get, you want to get a look at my view again? One more time. Woo! You said you were in Miami? Yeah, I'm in Miami. I'm in Miami, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Look, this nigga Debo, Debo chill. This nigga nah, Debo chill. Fuck out of here, Debo. Nah, man, I'm just gonna have a good time before um the next event come up, man. Like I said, we are gonna make this this uh heir to the throne one of the best events on caffeine and shit, man. And, and we are gonna have fun. Also, yo, too, real real quick, I'm giving out ten tickets to fans, not not entourages, not media people, to fans. I've got ten tickets ready to go. So anywhere of you in the world, if you get that ticket, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it tonight on caffeine on the Queen of the Ring count. You gonna mm -hmm. see me probably like eight, nine o'clock, probably ten o'clock the latest. But I got ten free tickets. You don't gotta do no hoops and hurdles and shit. Just come on and watch and see what I do. I'll probably ask a question or two. Whoever wins, get it. But there's the catch though. If you're somewhere far, if you're not in the California area, so let's say you're in New York. You got to get your plane ticket to get out here and shit. Like, if not, within that 48 hours, I got to get those tickets to somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Because I want those tickets being used and shit. So you ain't got to do nothing but pack your luggage, get your plane ticket, come the fuck out here to the address and the location, and you'll be on stage with us. Not behind the cameras or nice. watching on TV. You'll be on stage with me, Dad, Big, and the whole crowd watching it. We want true Queen of the Ring fans and shit to pull up. You feel what I'm saying? And that's, that's what it is. That's dope. That's what it is, yeah. That's what it is. But nah, man, shout out to you, Cats, man, for making shit, man. I ain't gonna hold you. You're one of the top motherfuckers that help female battle rap, you know what I'm saying, and talk about it and shit. When all these other niggas gonna be talking about it, you know what I'm saying? You, I, I say appreciate this. you. Shout out to Mosca Flux. I seen what was going on with her daughter. I'm glad she found her daughter. Shout out to everybody who was posting about the situation. And I'm glad that she got her daughter back safe. Shout out to most of Flux, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the community. Shout out to the people that helped out. Queen of the Ring, like I said, we're a dysfunctional family. We may argue and fight, but when it's going down, we're going to help each other out. That's one thing a lot of these battle rap dudes or leagues or platforms don't have. That's a family. You know what I'm saying? So we talk shit about each other. We dysfunctional. We fight, fuss, argue. So when shit happens, we pull our resources together and try to make shit happen. So shout out to most of Flux for getting her daughter back. Shout out to everybody that's been holding that down and whatnot, man. Happy Father's Day to everybody, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, um, you know, 40 Cal's situation is still ongoing, man. But happy Father's Day to him as well, man. I hope he gets some type of, uh, 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 you know, something that can, you know, ease his pain. If 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 that, you know, because it's, it's real hard losing a child. Like, I would never want to feel that feeling and shit like that. But, you know... Happy Father's Day to him, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, because you're still a father, you know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. Other than that, happy Father's Day to you, too, Cap. You're an ugly nigga, but, you know, you're a father Fuck nonetheless, you. man. You got, like, five people running out here. Man, you said it's this weekend. Dang. This, week, this weekend, man. Um, Queen of the Ring, man, we here. We here. July 18th, Royal Rumble. We here. Is this on the Queen of the Ring channel or the URL channel? What? Um, Which one? The head to the throne. Head to the throne is on the same shit that's already been on the on, on the URL or uh, caffeine channel. So what? All right, hold on. So what are we doing with the Queen of the Ring caffeine channel? I'm gonna start up some shit there. I just haven't known what I'm gonna do yet. Here, here's the thing. What are you waiting for? Hold, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing. So I'm gonna let y'all know. The reason why we put it on the URL channel is to get a lot of eyeballs on it and shit like that. Okay. Okay. But we okay. got like five, six thousand subscribers. Some niggas got a hundred and something thousand subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I want to keep it at and shit like that. Um, as far as the battles, here's the thing. Y'all will see it on the app and think, oh, well, why y'all can't put it on YouTube? I got the battles. The battles are actually ours as far as the E-Bath and Vang. We just decided not to put it on a YouTube channel on both parties. URL can't put you don't see no Watch the Throne or anything Queen of the Ring on you on a Queen on a URL YouTube, nor do you see it on a Queen of the Ring YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We could put it on an app situation or license it however the fuck we want to please and do like that. So I have those shits in the stash. I don't have an app. You know what I'm saying? But if I do make an app, you will see those things. But I don't want an app. You know what I'm saying? I got a situation. I got because I got a situation that's coming technology wise in 2022 that's gonna blow everybody's socks off. You know what I'm saying? And that's where you'll probably see those battles at and shit like that. So I'm trying to bypass YouTube, which is a third party application, and make it 
advantageous towards me and my partners where everything is just coming in fluidly straight to us. At wise, not at wise, but something I just can't tell you yet. But it's coming. Trust me when I tell you. Right. But you know what though? But the app is as of right now, prior to what you got going on, the app is the best thing over YouTube in your opinion, correct? So far. Yep. But let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. All right, boom. Now you know how YouTube monetization works. You know how it sometimes it's green and sometimes it's limited, right? Right. Right. Are some of your battles getting going limited because of the content, because of the curse and whatnot? Uh, yes. It depends. Mm -hmm. Like when you when you do the ad review, if it's yellow and then you do the ad review, sometimes it'll turn green. You know what I'm saying? But here's the catch though. You'll probably be like 10, 20 K in views and don't recoup none of those fucking uh, views from the ad review. So so that's just pretty much what it is. So with YouTube, you have to make sure or either Upload early, mm -hmm. and then do the ad review and wait, 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 and then when it turns green, that's when you start hitting the bow, and then every and then you'll recoup all those views and stuff like that when you when you release it publicly. So YouTube so really is like YouTube really isn't for battle rap anymore. No, nah, you can't say that YouTube is for battle rap. You just gotta be very, you gotta be smart in how how you deal with it, how you release those battles. You know what I'm saying? You, you, sometimes some people that they, they'll, they'll upload it and want to release it right then and there because they're like a little bit behind on on their releases. You just gotta be smart and upload it early and whatnot. It's just all about technology. Like with us or Queen and Ray, we was a little bit behind on technology because everybody was using like different uh, uh uh um software and shit like that. Now I got that software as far as like the Black Magic or the cameras and stuff like that. I got all that software now, so I can. You see me doing pay per views and stuff like that. So little by little, we're catching up with the time as far as the technology that I'm using for Queen of the Rangers solely and whatnot. So you'll see like pay-per-views or VODs or just releases because people were like bumming out when I released Chrissy versus uh, C the Boss two days after. You know what mm. I'm saying? We actually had it in real time editing. And so as soon as the battle finished, the battle was, the battle was done, uploaded, everything, ready to go. I could have released it the same day and whatnot. So it's just all about that. But there's going to be, if, you, if, if you're a good tech-savvy person, where everybody's doing these investments in Robinhood and crypto and all these like, things and stuff like that, there's also technology moving as well. So YouTube is, is the biggest in the game right now. They really have no competitor and whatnot. But slowly but surely, if you get, keep your eye on the Silicon Valley boys and stuff like that, that's technology that's about to bust a move that's going to be right there next to YouTube. And YouTube is going to have to restructure how they do their payouts, their CVM ratings and all that. You know, they're going to have to, you know what I'm saying? Because some people, if you will, I can say this because I'm not the one holding that, holding that, that patent. But there's a, you know what I'm saying? I think there's a patent out there where, you know, there's, there's a, a I wouldn't call it an app because app is like when you think about phone. But I'm just thinking like a, a, a software to whereas you can, you can have the same uh, resources tech, in, as far as uh, amenities as YouTube but you could be your own subscription-based uh, person. In other words, you could have a, imagine YouTube being YouTube, but it gives you the option to have your own subscription. So any, anything that comes, you know what I'm saying, on that YouTube channel, whatever, and, and the, all those subscribers that you got, that dollar amount comes strictly to you mm. for a small percentage. In other words, you're the controller of that. In, in other words, instead of you, you, all that money coming to YouTube first, and they'd be like, you breaking it off, and YouTube like, all right, here's your five cents, and We'll keep yeah. these two dollars. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a subscription based thing. Everybody think it's Patreon, but it's not Patreon. It's something else. It's even better than Patreon. So it's gonna be a thing where they'll they'll collect a fee, but you'll get the uh, the lion's share of the subscription base. So and look, think about like how how quote unquote URL got their own app. All that shit is going straight to them. The technology they'll probably pay for, but the uh, subscription and the money will go straight to them. It's them they're gonna be like that. It's just that people gotta catch up to it. That's all it is. Okay, okay. Yo, Debo, man, I appreciate you coming on. You heard? Yo, I appreciate you, boy. Thank you, man. Thanks for everything. I, you know what I'm saying? June 26th, Air to the Throne, and July 18th, Royal Rumble, man. We're gonna be in Durham, North Carolina, July 18th. So get your tickets and shit. You're gonna see a trailer and everything up uh, today and, or tomorrow that we're gonna be starting it off. Nice, nice. I'm getting ready to go watch. I'm tripping out because I did not see Eon. Eon, Eon versus Hope Eon, Trilly. Eon, Eon. I'm going to watch Eon and Hope Trilly because they were talking a lot of shit in their face off. Shout out to Drake Dennis. Yeah. Shout out to Drake Dennis, man. Gates of the Garden, man, for helping us facilitate that battle. 
and that was a fire battle, man. I'm not going to sit here and hold you. There are two new stars on the up and coming, and you're going to see those see them soon also in Queen of the Ring. Okay, okay. Yo, Debo, man, I'm being in touch with you, bro. I'm going to upload it, man. All right, yo, man, don't, please, do when you end this, do not fuck up and get to upload this shit. Because you've been fucking up. <laughs> it happened two times. It happened two times. Okay. It only happened two times. Yeah, well, hey, Cap, before you go, get a, get a look at my view one more time. This motherfucker. <laughs> look, look, look. This downtown Miami. Welcome to Miami. Look, look, you see the beach? Look, Miami beach. All right, we out of here, man. All yo, right, people. <laughs> yo, I'll holla at you, bro. All right, boss. Yo, shout out to Debo, Queen of the Rings, going down this 